I think as the Sergeant Major of the Army, you have an obligation to tell people things they don't want to hear. Um, a lot of people aren't comfortable with that. No four-star general, no a political appointee wants to hear something that's not good. I don't agree with that. That's your job. You're going to make people mad. Um, they have a moral obligation to tell people the truth, even if they don't want to hear it. And I usually say this in context when people ask me, you know, how do I become the Sergeant Major Army? I said, whatever you do, don't try to be the Sergeant Major Army because uh, you're not going to do your job. Most of the meetings you go into, you're the only enlisted in there. Or it doesn't matter what meeting, and I'm not just talking about in the building, it's just, you know, hey, here's what we have. This is what I saw with our soldiers. Well, you know, I disagree. Okay, I appreciate it, but I was down there with them. <laughs> That's what they told me. So, um, believe it or not, it's in our Army reg. It says um, you can stick up for them in person or online. Um, and sometimes people don't like that, um, but I don't, I don't take attacks in person on my soldiers. I definitely don't take it well in combat, <laughs> so um, I don't take it well anywhere. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you come from, what's your background, men, women, doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter where you say it. I don't like it when people attack our soldiers, and I push back. If you try to please the person you're talking to, you may not do what's right by the Army. That's what I meant. You might make people upset. You're gonna say things. So don't try to get to the next job and please everybody. Give them your best advice. Do what's right for your soldiers. You make people mad and they told it against you, so be it. Don't try to get to the next job. Do what's right for your people. I think it's really important to, to stay in touch with um, you know, our soldiers. And if they communicate and through social media, I think we have to go where they're going to communicate. And it's not just the troop visits, so it's also reaching out, you know, all the time to stay in touch. And we, we saw it be very powerful during COVID. You know, how do we do, you know, travel and see soldiers and get their, you know, what they're worried about during COVID? And we found doing a town hall on you know, some kind of live stream or just kind of reaching out through Microsoft Teams or whatever platform we have. But I think it's been really important and I'd highly recommend everybody to use it um, as much as you can. It does come with risk though. You do have to be open, you have to understand you're going to get direct messages. Um, some people are going to post some things they shouldn't. Um, so I think it's, I've watched it really grow over time and to include myself. I've grown even in the last four years as the SMA and my attitude towards social media. It's just been um, a lot of growth and in the beginning I probably was risk adverse and said you know don't say too much don't reach out as much um, and then I became much more open and willing to take a lot more risk and to open up to our soldiers because I, I felt like I wasn't doing enough um, to say just some of the truths on social media so you could probably see a distinct shift around uh, year one, about one and a half, where I said, I need to do more.